Hello and welcome. In this video, we will take a look at the ArchinXP user interface. We go through the parts of the interface in detail. The welcome screen appears at the start of the program and provides access to the featured projects, recent projects and online information. Title bar. The title bar displays the version number of the application and the name of the currently opened projects with the full path. If you click on the file name, ArchinXP will open the project folder using the File Explorer. When opening a new project, the title bar always shows the project name, document 1 or 2 or 3 or 4, etc. until you save the project under a different name. The Quick Access Toolbar The Quick Access Toolbar is located under the title bar. The Quick Access Toolbar is a collection of comments that you use frequently. You can customize the Quick Access Toolbar by adding any comment from the ribbon bar. The File tab is the first part of our XP ribbon, which provides access to common file operation and the setting panel containing the main general parameters. Menu bar. The ribbon is the bar at the top of our XP application. The ribbon organizes the tools into groups, which are placed on different tabs in logical groups. The most used buttons are the largest. Subcomments. Clicking the downward facing arrows on the ribbon menu panels will open drop down menus and allow you to choose from the available comments. Tips Local Help The short help message called Tooltip is a small pop up window that appears when you pose the mouse pointer over a comment. Expand or collapse the ribbon menu. By using the Hide Ribbon command, a narrow stripe remains for the ribbon bar. When closed, only the tabs on the ribbon bar remain visible. By clicking on the tabs, the ribbon menu appears temporarily and you can choose from the available comments again. After clicking on the comment, the ribbon menu will automatically disappear again. To display the ribbon menu fixedly, click the arrow again. Search field. According to the text entered in the search field, a list of comments that contain the text is displayed. If the mouse hovers over an item in the list, the tooltip will appear. Clicking on an item in the list starts the selected comment. Frequently used keyboard shortcuts. With the keyboard shortcuts comment, all hotkeys available within ArchinXP can be viewed in a dialog. Drawing status management toolbar. Design phases can be set on the drawing status management toolbar. Here you can select the drawing detail for the walls, doors, windows, and you can specify the representation of the line thickness on the screen here as well. In the message field on the right side of the bar, the program displays brief information about the current comment. Dashboard panel. The dashboard is a clear collection of the most frequently used comments related to the given view, which can be supplemented with your own sets of comments. The advantage is that any comment on the control panel that can be found in the ribbon menu is available here with one click. In addition, frequently used styles can be selected and the unique icon can be assigned, those facilitating quick work.
The status bar is the fixed bottom bar of the program which contains the program's settings, status switches, the level, 3D view and layer manager, as well as other frequently used editing instructions. The settings of the program can be accessed and changed by clicking the Options button representing the gear on the left side of the status bar. The project navigator displays all views in the current project, floor plan, 3D views, sections, elevation view, plot layout, hidden views and other parts in a tree structure. When each branch is expanded, the elements on the lower levels are displayed. The views can be closed, in which case they appear in a different color in the project navigator. The rendered images belonging to the project are automatically included in the rendered images list and can be placed on the design sheet from here. Views. The largest part of the application is covered by the workspace. The project is displayed in several views. The most important is the floor plan. The design can be divided into levels and layers. All addition views of the project can be recreated from the floor plan at any time. Such displays are 3D views, sections, elevations and printing layouts. The view switch tabs provide access to all views in a minimal space. Each window has a tab. By clicking on the tab, the view becomes active. Views can be moved to second monitor. Entering values. Numbers, text, coordinates. In ArchNXP, values can be entered either on the command line or through the input field. When the program asks you to enter a value, you can enter text, numbers, arithmetic expressions or coordinates. Enter key. The Enter key closes the active command or subcommand during operation. The Enter key can be replaced with the right mouse button. Escape key. If Escape is pressed, the program terminates or aborts any current command and returns to no action mode. Select multiply items. One element can be selected in the program with a single click. However, by pressing the Shift or Control key, it is possible to select several elements together. The right-click menu or context menu is the menu that appears when you right-click on the element. The right-click menu shows comments related to the selected item. Dockable panels. By default, the following panels are located on the left side of the screen. Dashboard, Design Center and Styles. The Project Navigator is located on the right side of the screen by default. You can open or close a panel in a View, Menu, User Face menu. The currently opened panels are marked with a check mark. Panels can be docked on the left or right side of an application. You can switch to the hidden state with the thumbback icon. The Properties Manager displays the properties of the selected element and gives the possibility to change the values. Organized catalogs such as objects, doors, windows, lamps, materials, groups and profiles can be managed with the help of the Design Center on the single panel. 
The elements are grouped into categories and appear on the interface. The selected category opens with a left mouse click. The elements are displayed in a two-level category system. The elements can be grouped according to models and manufacturers' brands. Any content can be placed using the drag and drop method. By holding down the left mouse button, I drag the selected element over the floor plan and place it after releasing the mouse button. You can return to the default panel by clicking on the home icon.